So let's start with AI because it's a tool, but how is this going to affect us in the future? It's not going away. In fact, I got a text from my daughter this morning that said, hey dad, they just blocked ChatGPT from my school. And not that she was using it to cheat, which is why they blocked it, but she was using it as a tool because she's seen me use ChatGPT to refine certain prompts, to do a little bit more research, to use it as a tool as a starting place. And I think that's the key. This is a tool where we start. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be everything, but let's start. So long-term, it's that tool. In the short term, I think it can help you in that I really need to, for maybe a writer, for example, I really need to brush up on subject X, Y, and Z so that I am able to write this piece of content. Let's go to ChatGPT and not ask it to write it for us, but let's use it as a starting point to absorb the knowledge, to do the research that you need to do. Because ultimately, we're going to know if it's written by a human or if it's written by ChatGPT. There, we, we all know that there's software out there that could det detect those things. And so when it comes to the front-facing consumer, when it comes to your client, I think with this, with this ChatGPT and AI being so such a part of uh, our daily lives now, our trust meters, the bar has been raised. Mm -hmm. our, we're, we're, we're really on the lookout for BS now. We really can are. I yeah. Can I trust this person? Can I trust this piece of content? And so it's up to us. How do we combat that? Well, we combat that by not having ChatGPT write everything for us.